Hey loves, welcome back to Lovely Things. Today we're going to jump right into episode 4 of the 2019 planner lineup. But before we do that, I want to welcome all you newbies. And I just want to quickly remind you, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload videos. And that's pretty much it. Let's just jump right into the video. Hey loves, so this is number four of our planner lineup for 2019. So this is episode four. <laughs> and I wanted to quickly share with you guys this little cute little planner that I came across at Michael's. It's the Recollections, um, I want to say holiday planner. Um, on the cover it just says the most wonderful time of the year, which is coming up very shortly. And I saw this and I said oh my god I have to get this because I know that um the happy planner has like a um extension pack for like the holiday um and I think you're supposed to be able to find it at Hobby Lobby I haven't been so lucky to find it so when I came across this I said oh my god this is going to help me plan for the holidays because we are big with the holidays in our home so I love the fact that you know it just gives you that Christmassy vibe and then you open it up and you have your first uh, divider which is the calendar section and here we just have a place where you can put uh, maybe a picture of a holiday picture of your family or a quote or something and then here it has holiday goals so it breaks it down from October November and December because let's face it October we have Halloween and then we're planning for um, Thanksgiving and then we're gonna be going right into Christmas so this helps you kind of jot down all the things that you need to prepare for those specific holidays and then you have like your your monthly overview and then you have like your weekly um, your weekly layout here. So you can kind of just jot down whatever little notes that you need to jot down pertaining to your holidays. And trust me, if you're like me, there's a lot that goes into planning with the decorating and all that stuff. So this is going to come in handy. So you have that as your layout and that's basically the same thing for the months. Now what I did notice is that each month does not have its own separate divider so you kind of gonna have to like either make like a bookmark or something to kind of help you you know know where each section is and stuff like that. So again this goes from October to December and I just love that it's already pre-decorated and it's giving you that whole Christmassy vibe and then you have on your back page of the um, the calendars, you have a few sheets of let's see. You have a few sheets of noted paper so that you can jot down some notes and stuff like that. So how cute is that? So the next section is your budget section, and again, you can post a family photo or whatever you really want to do with that it's basically up to you and you have your checklist so this is just going to be your like ongoing list of things that you need to do as far as buying decorations and preparing for your holiday meals and stuff like that so that's going to be really handy and then they have a section here where you have your holiday budget so you can keep track of your spending because we all know that holiday spending can get out of hand so this is really 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 great so you get a few sheets of that and then you have your spending tracker so again you want to make sure you keep track on that budget so I love that how cute is that so you get a few sheets of that and then you have your wish list so you can write down things that you may want to get or things that you want to get for other people, stuff like that. And then to give list, I love this. So if you plan on giving out any gifts to anybody, you can kind of jot down that and keep track of where you bought it from and how much you spent and all that stuff. So 
give you several pages of that and what I love about this planner it seems that this is more than just a one year use like you can always go back to it for several years and you know kind of have this as your reference guide to keep you on point and organized for the holidays then they have this here where it's just your online shopping so a lot of people I know I do myself um, always typically buy a lot of Christmas gifts online it's just easier to avoid the hassle of going to the stores and dealing with all that crap especially like back Black Friday never shop on Black Friday when you can do it online so that's just my opinion so you have that and again they give you several sheets of that and then you have your holiday cards I have always wanted to send out holiday cards I and every year I say I'm going to do it and I never get to do it. So this probably will help me motivate myself to actually get it done. Um, so this is just a place where you can write down um, the names and addresses of the people you want to send your, your cards to. And then you can just check off when you mail it and get it done. So I love that. And again you have a little section where you can write down some notes. And then here we have our next divider, which is the party divider. So this basically is going to help you organize for when you're doing your your parties, like your Christmas parties or your Thanksgiving parties and stuff like that. So you have your information and it breaks it down by category. So depending on um, the topic, you can just put like desserts, uh, the main course whatever you're gonna put down and jot that down and then you again have the budget so that you can keep track of your spending and then it gives you your little menu planner so again you can plan out like our house when it comes down to Thanksgiving we um, typically have our main courses but we also have the kids contribute to making um, a portion of the meal so you can write that down and then just have who's making what and stuff like that so and then we have the holiday decor again really key to keep on track with the budget so you don't overspend and table settings if you want to you know set up a beautiful tablescape and stuff like that so I love that and then you have your guest list of people that you're inviting to your holiday dinner and stuff like that and then it gives you plenty of space to write down your shopping list and again this is continual so you can use this more than once like you don't have to just use it one year and then just forget about it so i absolutely love that and the fact that they were generous enough to give you enough pages really really i love the way that they they're stepping up their game so and then we have our next tab which is the recipes tab so again you break down your meals by your recipes and you know what you're gonna make for the holiday and then you have like your little special recipes and stuff like that so um i think that is really really cute and this is something that you can always pass down to your daughters or your you know your son even and this is just something that they can keep forever and ever so love that and then we have house and home so everybody knows you're gonna have people over you want to you know make it fun and this here gives you ideas of what to do so it's holiday fun it says the holiday countdown so you can do a craft um craft new ornaments sip hot cocoa by the tree so it just gives you like little prompts to do to kind of keep it fun and festive during the the holiday season so i love that and then you can actually like write down your own traditions just to kind of keep it going through you know throughout the years and then you can um have a little spot here where you can put inspiration so if you find something on pinterest um that you saw like a, a, a tree decoration or a tablescape decoration you want to take a photo you can place it there and then just jot down some notes um just to kind of keep you you know fun and festive love it so they give you a whole bunch of these which is awesome and then you have your organizing and cleaning so yes because you're having people over so you want to make sure your house is clean for your guests and all that stuff so you can break it down by each um by each 
tasks that you need to do so you can break it down by room by zone however you do your cleaning whatever whatever suits your needs so I love that and then again oh okay there's more <laughs> And then you have your holiday projects. So this, I love this because you can, especially if you're like a DIYer and you know, you want to kind of spruce things up for the, the holidays, you can write down project ideas that you may come across on Pinterest or in um, blogs or websites or whatever. And you can write that down. And this is also a great way to like incorporate your kids, like whatever projects they want to do as far as making ornaments and stuff like that, or even make baking cookies so I love that and then you have a bunch of notes pages because if you're like me you're always constantly writing things down so you don't forget so they give you plenty of that and then they give you little cute little stickers to kind of decorate even though you really wouldn't need to decorate because they've done a great job with that already but this is just a little added touch so I love that so this is definitely going to get use for years to come um, I'm so happy that I was able to get this so that's basically it for our 2019 planner line I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to hit that subscribe button the like button and the notification bell button and if you're new welcome and yeah give me some feedback let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know what you're using for your planner selections for 2019 till then we'll see you later